Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Raw Radiant Health and I'm Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. So, today's Friday and I wanted to get to this question. I've been asked many, I've been sent a lot of emails asking me about acne and I wanted to address it this week and so it's Friday and I finally have time to like slip it in. So today I want to talk about acne and how how you can reverse it and also get rid of scars, things like that, because it is possible. I am living proof of that. I had acne for almost 15 years and I was always told when I was a teenager it would go away in my early 20s. And when I hit 25, I still had acne. When I hit 30, like I had even worse acne. <laughs> it was just getting worse. And I was even had like dermatitis and rashes all over my face, everything. And it was really, it was terrible. And I, I feel for anyone that's ever suffered from acne, I've been there. I know what it's like. I know that it's not only like physically painful to have irritated skin like that, but it really, it's, it affects your social life. It affects your self-confidence, everything. And like people, I used to always have like family members that always be like, why does your skin so bad? Like, you know, you should go and do this, you should try that, have you spoken to so-and-so? And it was always like, I've tried everything <laughs> and nothing's working. And it was so frustrating. And then, but I want to say too, that as frustrating as it is, there's a way out of it, because I got myself out of it. And by actually, by doing things you never think of doing. And the number one thing that helped me was advice I got from a dermatologist. And um, this was a year before I went raw, and my skin was really bad, and I had like, rashes, acne, everything. It was it was like at the peak of its worseness. And I went to see this dermatologist, and it's the first time I've ever went to her. And and let's just say like my whole my twenties like I took medication for acne. I tried every lotion and potion out there supplements, you name it, I've tried it. And I mean, I was desperate. And so when I went to see this dermatologist and I asked her, what, you know, what, what can I do? Any suggestions? It's amazing that she was like, she's like, I want you to stop doing everything. She's like, I don't want you putting anything on your skin. She's like, I want you to throw out every single one of those lotions and potions, get rid of it all. She's like, you can wash your face with whatever you want to wash it with, but I don't want you putting anything on your skin. I want it to breathe. I want it to heal itself. Just like, you know, and she explained to me pretty much that a lot of the stuff that I was putting on my face was making it worse. It was irritating it. It was drying it out. You know, it's harsh chemicals. It was aging it. She's like, even, you know, she's like, even those anti-aging things, like, don't put that stuff on your skin. It's making it worse. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, like I've spent a crazy amount of money like throughout my, my, my youth and my teenage years and, and into my adult years on, on trying to, you know, make my skin better. And suddenly I have someone saying, you know, all of that is making it worse. And so, and she warned me too. She said, you know, the first few days it's going to be, you know, like a little bit tight, a little bit dry, the skin, especially after a hot shower. But she's like, after a while, you know, give it a week, and then your skin will actually balance itself out. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to give this a try, see what happens. And, and I did, and my skin cleared up. <laughs> like, and cleared up pretty quickly, you know. It, like, first, the first thing that left was the dermatitis and the rashes. And then the acne started, like, stopping and clearing up and, and reducing pretty much. And then I'd say... A year later, I went on to Raw Foods, and that's when I started really like seeing the scarring going away, and really just seeing like the end bit of the acne, like bye bye. And I was amazed, and it was in like, it was amazing. It was within like just two, three weeks. And the crazy thing is like I'll never forget my first week being on Raw Foods. My skin started actually peeling. It was almost like. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen someone that's had like an acid peel on their their face, like women that go in and get like um, anti-aging sort of acid peels for their their skin. Okay, it's you know, and and you see them come out and their skin is almost like sunburned. 
that's what happened to me without putting anything on my skin. Like the first week I went raw, it was like just getting all the, like it was, it was just like all the stuff was being released through my skin. And it was crazy. Like my mother was like, why you look like you're sunburned. And it's like, we're in Canada and it's like the beginning, it's like the end of winter. What's going on? And you know, it, it was weird. And you know, I was trying to explain like, you know, I think this is like some sort of detox. I don't know. And it was crazy because my skin completely cleared up. And, um, and I know what all that was about was that I was feeding myself like pure, good, healthy, whole foods. I was not putting any chemicals into my body, no preservatives, no pesticides, no um, trans fats, no heated rancid oils, no, no allergens, like no wheat, no corn, no dairy, no, no soy products, all that. Like all I was putting in my body was like whole, fresh, ripe, raw, organic fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. And everything's clean food. So my skin became really clean and and very open to eliminate things. Like like I noticed like my pores, like I used to have like blackheads and, and clogged pores and it was like everything like or enlarged pores, everything just kind of like cleaned out and then tightened back up again. And you know, skin became like soft and smooth and and also a lot of the scarring also went away, which was like amazing. Like I even noticed too, um, you know, because I'm fair skin that like when I break out, I get like purple marks all over my face, and it takes like a good a good year to clear up like one one little purple mark. I mean, it's it's just like a scar very easily. And I noticed as well was that I used to work in kitchens, and I had scars from working in the kitchens from the ovens and stuff. And even that, like, you know, I'd have like these big, like, purple and brown burn marks on my arms from my past work. And like, when I went raw within a few months, totally disappeared. I also used to have rashes like um, near my knees, like just raised bumps. I had that for since I was like 15 years old, gone. You know, and these are things that like I just sort of accepted and was like, this is just part of me but they actually cleared themselves up without even me doing anything. Like even recently I've noticed um, I'd have like a few broken blood vessels and those two, they were like reducing in size. Like, you know, they're like fading away, which is like awesome. I mean, for a girl or even for a guy, this is like major good news. That like, you know, you think you're stuck with like having your body being a certain way, but in fact, you know, it changes and it can heal itself and it can heal itself even more than you can even imagine. So I'm telling you all this because I just, I really want to suggest like anyone that's trying to get rid of acne is that there are, there is a way and there's a way that is completely free. Stop putting lotions and potions on your skin, let it breathe and to eat as much raw food as possible. If you can go for 30 days, that would be my suggestion. Is do 30 days of 100% raw. Just eat fresh, raw fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. Eat as much as you want. Eat a lot. And drink a lot of good, pure water. Not the tap water, but like, you know, spring water. And just do that for 30 days. Do it as an experiment. If you're dying to have some cooked food, don't have anything that's processed. Nothing that comes out of a package. Nothing that comes out of a bottle nothing that you don't know where its source is. And if you really need something that's cooked, then have like quinoa, have some rice, have some millet. Um, you can have your grains as long as like they're cooked and they're in their whole form. Nothing should be processed. And if you're to add oils into a cooked food, like, you know, steam up some vegetables and put the oil in after. Don't cook with the oil because once you cook with it, it, it becomes a trans fat and it becomes rancid and that comes out into your skin. So the whole thing is, is just be on a whole foods diet, try this out for 30 days and you will see a difference in your skin. It will clear up, I promise you. All right, so I'm wishing you guys a fabulous, fabulous Friday and a great weekend and I'll see you Monday. Bye.